Creatures of the Deep, assemble! Awesome! Wow! Welcome to Ichthyology, where we have over three million fishes. There are more fishes than all other vertebrates combined. So if you take all the birds, all the amphibians and reptiles, all your mammals, fishes outnumber all of those. Who's number 46,853? Fishes are pretty slimy in general. If you've ever held one, you can always feel the slime right away. And they use the slime, though, in so many different ways. The most notable, slimiest fish there is is the hagfish. So these guys are unique among fishes in that they produce slime. And not just a little bit of slime. I mean lots and lots of slime. If anything attacks it, it has over 100 mucus uh, specialized cells that will just create so much slime that it gums up a predator's mouth and gills. And so nothing will keep on holding onto it. So they'll just let it go and it'll swim away. You haven't seen the last of me! Well, I've certainly seen enough. This here is a parrotfish, known because it has its fused teeth that create a beak like a parrot. It's one of the coolest slimy fishes that we have, because it actually makes a mucus cocoon that it sleeps in at night. Oh, can a bird nap in peace? I would tell any kid that wants to be a scientist to make sure to keep your curiosity, to always ask questions, to always ask your teachers how to get more information about something that you're really interested in. Let us go off and admire the beauty and fragility of nature.